Thank you for joining us today on A Moment of Faith. I want to talk to you today about finish lines. We live in a society where it seems like to finish something is a thing of the past. Our schedules, jobs, daily responsibilities often hinder us from accomplishing what we need and want to accomplish. But I'm reminded of a passage in Genesis 45. We all know the story of Joseph, how he was sold into slavery and taken to Egypt and how he rose to become second in command only to Pharaoh. But here in Genesis 45, Joseph has just revealed himself to his brothers. And he is sending them back to Canaan to gather their families and possessions and bring them back to the land of Goshen. And he says something to them in verse 24 of chapter 45. It says, So he sent his brethren away, and they departed. And he said unto them, Notice this, See that you fall not out by the way. What a strange statement for Joseph to say. Why, why would he say that? He said it because he realized the possibility of them being distracted, being sidetracked. It was a long journey from Egypt to Canaan and back to Egypt. And he realized that, that there was possibilities that somewhere along the way they could become comfortable and end their journey. Uh, but we see just as there were things that could hinder them there are so things that can hinder us from our heavenly destination. We've all heard the story of the tortoise and the hare and how the hare started very swiftly with the race, but he became distracted because he didn't take the race seriously. But meanwhile, the tortoise keeps plodding along and crosses the finish line first. Hebrews 12 and 1 tells us to lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So I want to encourage you today, don't become distracted from your heavenly destination. Don't become so focused on the circumstances around you and, and the things that you've gone through. Uh, don't allow them to distract you from the heavenly destination, but rather focus on the heavenly finish line and make up your mind to cross it with the help of the Lord.